Welcome to the Gospel Reading with Camhop. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, we Gospel of Mark, chapter 16. On the first day of the week, as the Sabbath was ending, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of Jacob, and Salome made their way to the tomb. It was very early in the morning as the first streaks of light were beginning to be seen in the sky. They had purchased aromatic embalming spices so they might anoint his body. They had been asking one another, who can roll away the heavy stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? When they arrived, they discovered that the very large stone that had sealed the tomb was already rolled away. And as they stepped into the tomb, They saw a young man sitting on the right, dressed in a long white robe. The women were startled and amazed. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I know that you're looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen victoriously. Look, see the place where they laid him. Run, tell his disciples and Peter that he is risen. He has gone ahead of you into Galilee and you will see him there just like he told you. They staggered out of the tomb, awestruck with their minds swollen. They ran to the disciples, but they were so afraid and deep in wonder, they said nothing to anyone. Early on the first day of the week, after rising from the dead, Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene, from whom he had cast out seven demons. After she had seen Jesus, She ran to tell his disciples, who were all emotionally devastated and weeping. Excitedly, Mary told them, He's alive, and I've seen him. Even after hearing this, they didn't believe her. After this, Jesus appeared to two of the disciples, who were on their way back to another village appearing in a form they did not recognize. They went back to Jerusalem to tell the rest of the disciples, but they didn't believe it was true. Then Jesus appeared before the eleven apostles as they were eating a meal. He corrected them for having such hard, unbelieving hearts because they did not believe those who saw him after his resurrection. He said to them, As you go into all the world, preach openly the wonderful news of the gospel to the entire human race. Whoever believes the good news and is baptized will be saved, and whoever does not believe the good news will be condemned. And these miracle signs will accompany those who believe. They will drive out demons in the power of my name. They will speak in tongues. They will be supernaturally protected from snakes and from drinking anything poisonous. They lay their hands on the sick and heal them.
after saying these things, Jesus was lifted up into heaven and sat down in the place of honor, the right hand of God. The apostles went out, announcing the good news everywhere. The Lord himself consistently worked with them, validating the message they preached with miracle signs accompanying them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace now and forever.